Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this session, we'll be talking about conditional rendering in LWC. I hope that you guys have already watched my previous sessions. And if you have, you already know how to set up the Visual Studio Code, how to create a project and how to authenticate the org. And in the latest previous session, we saw how data binding can be achieved in LWC, right? So let's just get started with conditional rendering. So uh, in Lightning Web Component, we have two special directives for conditional rendering, okay? The first one is if true, and then the second one is if false, okay? So before we hop on to an example, let's just talk about it a little bit, okay? So in order to render LWC component template conditionally, right? You can add either if true or if false directive to a nested template tag that encloses the conditional content, okay? So what does it mean is, let's say if you have your HTML file, okay? And in that HTML file, you are creating two sub templates, okay? Basically two nested templates. And the first part of the nested template, you only want to display based on a condition, okay? If that condition or let's say an expression, if that is true, then only you want to display the first nested template. And the second nested template, you only want to display if that condition is false, right? So what, how will you achieve it? How will you render both the templates based on the condition? That is what we'll see in the example now, okay? So let's just go ahead and create a LWC component. <clears throat> so I'm creating this component and I will name it as conditional render demo, okay? Okay, so in this example, all I, I, I would be doing is that I will, uh, let's say I will create a button, okay? And based on a condition, Okay, I'll click on that button and I will display a text. Okay, so if that condition is true, then only that button should show me that text or not. Okay, and if it is false, it will not show anything. But if it is true, it will show me that text. Okay, so it's a very simple example, but let's just go ahead and try to achieve it. Okay, so let's just go to our uh, JavaScript file first. And what will I do here? I'm going to create our track property. I am hoping that you guys if you don't know about what a track property is, what a track decorator is, please watch the previous videos and you will understand what it is and what does it do, okay? So I will declare a property and I will name it as, uh, let's say, uh, okay, I, it should be a Boolean, right? So I am setting it to false, okay? I'm setting it to false. And then again, I have to import this, right? So I did that. And now what will I do? I am, okay, so let's just go to the HTML file first, okay? I have just declared this property. Now I'll go back to the HTML file and I will be creating the button that I was talking about, okay? So, okay, and in this button, what will I do? That on the click of this button, I'm going to call a function, okay? So on click, and then I would have to give the curly braces and I, let's say, show handler, right? You can name it anything you want. So on click, I will be calling a function, okay? And then what I'm doing is I'm giving a, like, you know, a label to the button, okay? Uh, click me, click me to display the text, okay? So here it is, and now, Okay, now let's go back to the JS file. And what will I do that I, so this function, right? So I have to basically render based on the condition. So what will I do? I will first, I will define this function, okay? And, uh, okay. Okay, and in this function, what I'm doing is I'm changing, I'm flipping the Boolean variable uh, value, okay? So I will make it as true. So, okay, and then let's go back to our HTML file. And what, what I'm going to do is I, I'll be creating a nested template and I will only render that template when the value of this particular text is true. Okay, if it is false, then I will not render it. Okay, so that means by default, the value is going to be false, right? But the moment you click on the button, right? The moment you click on the button and what is happening on click, once you go to go, go to this function, on click function, it is flipping the variable to true, right? So by default, when you load your 
HTML component, right? When your HTML component will render, the value is going to be false, right? And that time, it, the button will not show anything, right? But the moment you click on the button, okay, it is calling a on click function. And what that function will do? That function is going to flip the variable value to true, right? So the nested template that I would be creating, I would be putting in a condition that if that particular value is true, then only show me a additional text. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do it. So here I let me let me uh, create a nested template. Okay. So here it is right now I want to display something inside this template. Okay, but I want to put the condition that if the value of if the value of show text is true, then only display this particular then only render this particular template otherwise not. So let's let me just put a text first. Okay, let let it let let's just put it under like, you know, some h4 or some header tag and um, you are able to see the hidden text now okay. and here right so i want to render this template based on the show text value right so <clears throat> so as if you remember that like you know in the starting of the video we talked about the two directives right one was if true and other was if false. So I want to put the condition for if true and if true what for what for what variable right for what property I'm trying to set the value right that we would have to define inside this and that is this one right this 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 property so just copy this and paste it over here okay. So now what will happen right once you load the component right so by default the value of show text is going to be false right and the time when the show text value is false this will not be displayed right because i have put the condition for true this will only be displayed when the value of show text is true right but then what will happen the moment user clicks on this button right this button this is going to call this function and what this function is doing this function is flipping this property's value to true the moment it becomes true this 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 becomes true right and then it will display your it will render basically this particular template and it is going to display you this text okay so now let's just go ahead and make changes to the meta file and then we'll deploy and check how it is working okay, then, uh, i will again be including it on the record page saved it and let's just deploy this okay Now let's just go to the org and include that particular component on a record page and check how it is working. Okay. I will be including that on contacts. So let's just open a contact. The name is conditional render demo. So first of all, I'll remove the previous one and conditional rendered demo, right? Then save. Let's go back. So now you can see, right? You are only able to see the button, but the text you are not able to see, right? This this particular text you are not seeing. Uh, where was it? <clears throat> this text you are not seeing, right? Because when your component loaded, the value for show text is false right so there is nothing that you have like you know displayed on if false and show text right if show text is false you are not displaying anything you will only be displaying something when the value of show text becomes true and when the value of show text becomes true the moment you click on the button right because the button click on click this function is flipping the value of show text to true so the moment it becomes true this will be this will uh, render and you'll be able to see this text so let's just go ahead and click on the button okay Let me see what happened. What happened to this once again? This should be perfectly fine, but let me just I'm not sure if. <clears throat> Uh, 
okay sorry the problem was this <clears throat> i need to give the context right this dot save then let's just deploy it again and as as i made changes to the js file right i would have to clear the cache and reload this component otherwise the changes might not be reflected <clears throat> okay so if i click on this see you are able to see the hidden text now right so i hope you uh, at least got the idea on conditional rendering the same way like you know if you have different expressions and based on like you know their value you can put the conditional rendering into your html uh, nested template tags okay so that's all for conditional rendering in lwc i'll see you in next session bye bye